Uh, hello, assalamu alaikum everyone, how are you doing? Uh, my dear students, today you are supposed to do some past paper questions, paper 4, about breathing and respiration. Figure 3.1 shows the structure in the human lung, in the human thorax, okay? And it's labeled A, B, and C. Before we go through the questions, we need to know that who's A? A is the rib. Who's B? B is standing for the muscles between the rib. Particularly, it's pointing to the external intercostal muscles. C is standing for the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a sheet of muscle that separates the thorax from the abdomen. Now we come to the first question. Uh, first of all, he needs some kind of labeling. So who is A? As we said that A is standing for the rib. Ribs or rib cage. We need to change the color so that looks much more brightening. It's okay. And we can make some change to size as well. Very good. I prefer the Times Roman. Very good. Excellent. Next, who is B? As we did say that B is standing for intercostal muscles. Again, B was standing for the intercostal muscles. Who is C? We did say that C is the diaphragm. Diaphragm. Now we need to talk about their role. What's their job? The ribs are to prevent the collapse of the thoracic cavity. So we can say that prevent the collapse of thoracic cavity. Or you may talk about the role in order to change the volume of the chest cavity as they rise to increase the volume and decrease the pressure allowing the air to move in. Again, this is one. One more thing you can say. It is attached. Uh, I don't prefer to start a sentence with it, he, or she. You can say the ribs are attached to intercostal muscles. What else? You can say that Reps move up to increase volume of chest cavity. Very good. Very good. What about the intercostal muscles? The intercostal muscles contract to do what? To raise the chest up, increasing, consequently increasing the volume of the chest and allowing air into lung. <coughs> what about the diaphragm, Shabab? What about the, the diaphragm? What is the job of the diaphragm? The diaphragm is a muscle that contracts and flatten. What for? 
in order to increase the volume of the chest cavity as well. So I can say that the diaphragm contracts and flatten to increase the volume of the chest cavity and in this way it will decrease the pressure consequently decreasing pressure in the lung make a sense that it will allow air into the lung passively and allow air into lungs. This is good. Let's move to the rest of the question. Now I have a figure, figure 3.1 shows some cells from the lining of the bronchus. These are cells from the lining of the bronchus and they are magnified by 1000 times. Explain the role or how these cells help to keep the bronchus free from dust particles. We need to refer to the cells. You can say that, sorry, to the cilia. The cilia are sweeping, sweeping, sweeping mucus and dust continuously 24-7. Out of the trachea. Okay. As the cilia keep moving in rhythmic. way, just like pedals. We need to talk about the cells which produce this mucus. Who does produce the mucus? They are goblet cells. So goblet cells produce Mucus. The mucus play a very important role as it does trap any dust particles. This mucus does have a sticky nature. And this sticky nature will help the mucus to trap the dust. Very good. So we can add that sticky nature of mucus help it trap the dust. Good for you. Next question. Describe how the action of these cells would be affected by one named compound of uh, tobacco smoke. There are three products in the tobacco smoke. They are the nicotine, the tar, and the carbon particles. The one you can call salt. Okay, I will talk about tar. I will talk about tar. You need to talk about just one of them. So we can say, sorry. Tar is one of the tobacco smoke products or ingredients ingredients okay very good well. 
uh, tobacco is carcinogenic means that the cells affected by tobacco solitar tar is carcinogenic so cells who are affected by tar will experience cancer uh, it will cause the cells to produce goblet cells to produce more mucus so more mucus will be produced what else Celia will be affected by this chemical substance will not be able to beat any more so they will not sweep the mucus they will stop working that's why they will be paralyzed very good now let's move to the next page this question is asking about state the role of gaseous exchange surface actually gas exchange surface or gaseous exchange surface is the place where the process of gas exchange happen where gas move between the organism and its environment you can say it is the surface where gases move or exchanged exchanged between the organism and has environment or or the atmosphere we call the air around you atmosphere so that we don't get confused between the air in the lung and the air in the atmosphere anyways figure 5.1 shows a section through the skin of an earthworm why? <clears throat> because the earthworm can use her skin to carry out the process of respiration. Oh, sorry, gas exchange. The skin acts as the earthworm gaseous exchange surface. On the top of it, there is a cuticle. Below the cuticle, there are some epiderm cells. And this is a layer of water mucus. Below the cells, there is a capillary. And then we come to the circular muscles, which is used in movement. Describe two features visible here in the figure. You may have some characteristic, you may have some features in your mind, but they are not shown in the diagram. You cannot use them. Which make this surface well adapted for gaseous exchange. You can say that the surface or the skin, okay, the surface or the skin, is thin so what so diffusion distance will be short okay so I can add that diffusion distance will be short and by the way this is an important characteristic in all gaseous exchange surface all of them are supposed to be like that we have a good blood supply by lots of capillaries so we can say that capillaries near the surface very good uh, you can add one more thing up to you that it's covered with a layer of mucus Again, the surface, the surface is, and this is visible as well, is covered with a layer of mucus. So what? It 
in brackets will facilitate diffusion of gases. Why? Simply because gases will dissolve in this layer. You can say as gases dissolve in this layer. Very good. Next part of the question, does it read? In the space below, write a balanced chemical equation and pay attention to balanced. Pay attention. Okay. For anaerobic respiration in the muscles. Whose muscles? Any skeletal muscles. I will start with the glucose molecule, which is C6, H12, and O6. The product would be division of this glucose molecule into two molecules of uh, lactic acid. So I can write here CFA as if you split it into two halves, 6 and O3 as well. Very good. Some students investigated the breathing of 16 years old male athlete, figure 3.1 shows the pattern of his breathing for 60 seconds, mean one minute, when resting, and the other figure, there would be two figures, show the pattern of the breathing while he took some exercise for 60 seconds. Uh, I can see that is using only 0.5 liters of his lung capacity. Okay? This is the vital volume. While he is at rest. While, when he goes in an exercise, I think that he is using now 2 liters. Uh, we need to number, uh, sorry, we need to count the number of uh, breath in both of the two diagrams. While he is at rest, the number of breath are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 breath. Okay, how many breath did he make while he has been taking the exercise? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now we go to the questions. Volume of the air breathed in while each breath, in each breath, right here, uh, in decimeter cube mean in liter. So the decimeter cube is a liter. 0.5, as we did mention on the figure, the first figure. Uh, on the other one, we said that he is using two liters. Two liters. Very good. Rate of breathing, we did count 11 of them while he was at rest. And while he was taking an exercise, we said that we have 18 of them. Very good. Volume of the air breathed in per minute in decimeter cube. I mean, minute, one minute is the time of the whole investigation. There are 5.5 at rest because we did multiply 0.5, multiply 11, we came up with 5.5. While here, it will, be, it will be 36. Why? We did use the same way, which is multiplying 2, multiply 18, equal 36. So write your answer on the table we did. Explain the effect of exercise on the student's breathing. Can you use some figures from, from the table and from the graph as well okay so we can say when the boy takes the exercise what happened number one breathing rate increased I can use some 
data, like I can say from 11 breath per minute at rest to how many? 18 breath, okay, uh, per minute during exercise. Very good. This is one. What about two? <coughs> Depth <coughs> of breathing increased as well. Uh, he was using 0.5 liters and now he is using 2 liters. If I can say that from 0.5 decimeter cube to two decimeter cube during the exercise and 60 seconds or one minute which is the time of the investigation very good now I need to talk about what happens in his body so number three I can say that his muscles are contracting stronger and more often so muscles need more supply of oxygen He needs to get rid of he needs to get rid of uh, more carbon dioxide or needs to remove more carbon dioxide uh, number six. Uh, in the same time, the boy needs avoid oxygen depth. You can say he needs avoid the buildup of lactic acid. Uh, this is the end of my questions. Hopefully they are useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you again. Keep at home. Keep safe.